One of his homeboys was Ptolemy Soter. Ptolemy Soter was in charge of Egypt. Now, when Ptolemy Soter, because I'm trying to paint y'all a picture, when Ptolemy Soter got to Egypt, now mind you, Egypt had had hundreds of rulers before this invasion. Right. In other words, we had already ruled for thousands of years right. before this invasion took place. They came, Johnny come late. We were ancient. Yeah. So, therefore, when he came, Ptolemy Soter, he looked at Egypt. And he was like, what in the hell going on? What is all this stuff y'all got going on? What is this triangle over here? He didn't know what a triangle was, but what is this over here? <laughs> what is this over here? What is this over here? And y'all know that when somebody come and invade, they're not nice people. When a robber break in your house, he don't come to be your friend. So they probably was raping the African women. That's right. They probably were, you know, molesting the kids, because that's what they did. And they probably was raping the men, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm just, you know, using a little common sense. Yeah. And they said, you know, all these great monuments that I've never seen. Right. How did y'all do this? Yeah. Where did this stuff come from? Right. He said, you know what? I'm in control now. Y'all need to show me what's up. Y'all need to show me what time it is because all this stuff that I see going on, I want to know about this stuff. Why is this big statue of this big, this big man right here? I want a statue like that. As you can see, they made him a bust. That's what it's called. Not the coin. The first one at the top is a coin that they found in ancient times. The second one is a bust. What Ptolemy Soter did was, the Egyptians, what happened was, when they died, they had a belief system themselves, which was our belief system. Right. The one I like. Right. See, I want my God to look like me. That's right. I don't want my God to look like somebody else. We the only race of people who God don't look like us. <laughs> so we paint Jesus black. Yeah, we can paint him black. We can slap some paint on him and that, that, that's cool. But anytime a man can get away with, with making a movie called The Passion of Christ, Mel Gibson, and have Hundreds of thousands of black church folk go see it, and, 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 and we don't have a problem with that. Well, it's not about color, it's about him dying on the cross. But see, this is the whole thing. Before we get to the dying of the cross part, if they lie about something small, like his color, what else they going to lie about? That's the question that I got. So if they lie about something small, because see, if, if, if it's not about color, then why don't you leave things originally the way they were? Yeah. Yes. They originally were black. Right. Y'all follow what I'm saying? Yes. Let's get back to this twinkle toes, Ptolemy Soter. <laughs> now, Ptolemy Soter, he saw all this stuff going on in Egypt, and the belief system that they had was when the Egyptian pharaohs died, all right, because they were called kings at first, and then the Greeks came along and called them pharaohs. Am I right, said it? Yeah. Um, they were, they believed to be deified. They became a god, lowercase g. Now, we taught in church that that's pagan, but if you look in the Bible, Jesus said that ye are gods. And we made an image in the likeness of God, right? See, a lot of stuff we call pagan, we wonder where the doctrine come from. We're going to talk about the doctrine before the doctrine, all right? Because all of a sudden, Europeans just grew a brain all of a sudden, and they was just... Overnight, and they were just all of a sudden spiritual counselors. I don't understand how that happened, but we're gonna break it on down. Now, Ptolemy Soter, what he did was he made them make him a deity, a pharaoh. All right. So now, mind you, they ain't want to do this. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You're getting your butt whooped, and somebody make you do something. You don't want to do it. Y'all follow what I'm saying? Right. Right. But they had to because there was another ancient I see in town and his name was Ptolemy Soter. And he wasn't having that. Y'all follow what I'm saying? So he became a pharaoh. Not because they made him one. Because he forced him to become one. So they made him certain things in his honor. Because they noticed that the kings before had certain things in their honor. Mind you, this is before Christ. Jesus ain't on the scene yet. No gospel. No gospel, no nothing. It's BC. Right. Kiss, please. Man, got another picture. 
Yeah, you're right. After I show y'all this picture and explain this, we're gonna take like a five minute break. You know what I'm saying? Everybody okay? Yeah. I mean, maybe we should ask them, you know, I don't know. Anybody wanna take a break? Or y'all want me to continue? Go hard, man. Go hard. Man. I mean, who wanna take a break? Y'all gotta take a break, let me know. Stop me. We can take a break. Drop it like it's hot. Alright, now hand me the, 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 the old Osiris and the uh, sorry. Yeah. Now, I see passing this picture on out. I'm gonna just kick <laughs> Now, these pictures that I'm passing out, keep in mind that these are actual artifacts that you can go see yourself. You don't have to go to church to know the historicity behind these pictures that I'm showing you. This is not a picture that my son colored and I just Xeroxed off. This is stuff that's in a tomb that you can go see. This is stuff that's in a museum that you can see. See, Barack Obama, I love him. He's a great guy. Why is he passing that out? But Negroes went to sleep when he became the president. We forgot who we was. And if you notice during his inauguration, they made it sound like they doing us a favor by making him the president. If they only knew we was ruling this mug before. Yes. Yes. See? See, if they really want to put things in perspective, they just sit their butt down. Because it's in our nature to rule. That's why every major corporation that you see got a Negro somewhere in the trenches. <laughs> just letting y'all know. Keep things straight. Keep, keep them in line. There's a reason for that. All right? Now, everybody got a picture? Let's take a look at some thing or somebody or God that existed before Jesus the Christ. All right, and I get happy talking about this. This is my thing right here. Now, you can call it pagan if you want to, but we just read the scripture that said that Moses was the man because he studied in Egypt. Right. These are actual artifacts that's in Egypt. Right now. The one to, if you're looking at the picture, the one to the left of you is a god called Osiris or Asar. Yeah. All right? This is B.C. Right. Now, keep in mind the word Christ or Christus is a Greek term that means anointed one, chosen one, or Messiah. Are y'all with me? Yes. Well, in the hieroglyphics, all right, in the time before this Greek language was established in this part of the land, okay, because I don't know if they had their own language before they came and invaded it, I really don't care. But, excuse me, all I know is, by the time the word Christ or Christus, keep in mind, this word existed before Jesus. I know everybody wants to think that Jesus, that's his last name. No. Christ is a title. Right. That's what it is. Right. Then it's a title that existed before Christ. If you check out the picture that I showed you of Ptolemy Soter, if you look that word up, Soter, S-O-T-E-R, it means... Soteriology, okay, if you add I-O-L-O-G-Y to it, it becomes soteriology. Now, what is soteriology? Because he called himself Ptolemy Soter. Soteriology is the study of salvation. Now, where you heard that word salvation from? Church, right? Yeah. Well, this word, these words existed before church. No T.D. Jakes, no Colonel O'Donnell, no T.B.N., no church of God in Christ. None of that. Y'all follow what I'm saying? Right. Now, in the Africans' eyes, the indigenous people of this land, when I say indigenous people, what I mean is the original people of these lands, the people that didn't have to invade, they were born there. Right. All right? They had what Greeks call a messiah. Or a Christ. Already. Or a Christus. Right. Already. Yeah. They already had their established study of salvation. 
The characters were just different. One of the characters of this belief system was a Sar. Right. So anytime, we still talk in BC, a Christ was mentioned in the minds of the Egyptians, they would think about this dude. Right. Because this dude, one of, one of the dudes, I should say. Because this dude was popping at that time. Are y'all following what I'm saying? Right. If you look to the right, if you're looking at the picture, here's another guy. I know these guys might look a little foreign to you, but just go look them up before you shut me down and shut your own mind down. They're black. Yeah, they black. <laughs> Was a guy named Haru. Or Horus. But they, I'll use his proper name, Haru. Or the son of light. Sound familiar? Son of light? Right. <laughs> Check this out. This BC stuff now. Y'all with me? Oh, yeah. So when Ptolemy Soter, the dude I showed y'all, came and ruled, these are the guys that was popping. Mm -hmm. Now at the bottom, you see Haru, Horus, uh, Osiris, can please somebody shut that door, and Isis. Let's not leave her out. Now, one of the things that I have a problem with in uh, the Bible is they do not talk about the spiritual transformations of women for some reason. In other words, you got the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Where the woman at? All the angels is dudes. I love women too much to get to heaven. I don't see no woman. I love them too much. There's so a reason for that. Y'all yeah. listening to what I'm saying? Because, I mean, women can be saved too, right? Right. Yes. Now, if you notice, it's three at the bottom. Are y'all learning something today? Yes. It's three at the bottom. Doesn't that sound familiar? Trinity? Mm -hmm. Before any type of European Trinitarian gospel was even thought about, there was already a factor or belief system that was based on <clears throat> a trinity. Mind you, Ptolemy Soter, when he came, this one was popping off. Now check this out. When these people or gods were, 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 were manifested, there was no Bible. Right. Not yet. Not yet. So, if somebody tell you the first time you heard of a Trinity is from the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, that's not right because this was popping off first. Moses, who wrote the first book of the Bible, was wise in all his words and his deeds because of what? His teachings in Egypt. 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 That's right. So if he's talking about the stuff that went on since the beginning of time, and he was in Egypt first. Right. And Egypt is the only one that taught him. Two plus two right. equal four. Yeah. Last time I checked. Right. All right? Y'all with me? Right, yeah. So while Ptolemy Soter, the white boy, was ruling, all right, and he came. This one was popping off. Now check this out. <laughs> Y'all with me? Oh yeah, right there. All right, before I even show this next picture. Y'all ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't want to scare y'all. Everybody use the bathroom. Y'all need to use the bathroom. Before I show you this next picture. Right. <laughs> we still in the BC. Everybody turn to your neighbor and say BC. BC. Before Christ. Before Christ. Give me the, this, yo, my homeboy. Yeah. I don't know. They might not be ready. Huh? They might not be ready. Oh, no. I ain't ready. Come on. We're ready. Okay. Welcome to the United Kingdom of Amin Rock. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is something that I'm trying to have every month. So, those of you who want to learn, it, you know, what's so crazy is, and tell me when everybody got a picture. When I mean, you done back. What's so crazy, you know, it's so funny to me how, when it comes to stuff in our lives that um, we deal with, we pick and choose where we want to be smart. To me, your soul is the most important thing in the world. So why wouldn't you go and evaluate that first? Right. 
If you get ready to buy a house, you look over the contract, yep. you get a job, you find out what the benefits is, you date somebody, you wanna know what's popping. <laughs> but when it comes to like our soul, whatever that slick head preacher say on the pulpit, as long as he say he getting it from God, <laughs> it's coming, it, we got it. And from my experience, let me speak from my experience, then it, I'm just one man saying, I can't listen to what you got to say after I seen you have sex or heard about you having sex with another man. Right. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. I can't listen to what you're saying when I'm in the most predominant circle of the Christian faith and I find out you like little boys. Mm -hmm. Wow. Right. Wow. Right. Right. At that point, my ears are shut. Yeah. Now check this out. I'm not even saying that I'm super holy. I'm coming with facts. I ain't trying to be nobody's spiritual leader. Let me tell you something. After I'm done with you, you're going to learn how to be your own spiritual leader. Because right. that's what it's all about. When somebody try to control your way of thinking, you need to question that. Well, I'm saying this. Why are you saying that? Because God told me to say this. And because I say God told me to say this, it must be right. Nah, doc. What happens when your faith does not line up with reality? What happens? It's a breakdown. When you fill somebody up with something that is not real and they become spiritually empty again because they find out what they thought was real is not real, mm. that's a dangerous state to be in. Mm -hmm. How do I know? Because I was there. Why do I do this? Because I was there. I know how it is not to sleep at night, not to eat. I can't think. I'm sweating. I can't conduct my business because I find out that everything that I learned it's not real. It's one thing to find out Santa Claus ain't real when you're a kid. But it's another thing to find out that what you did based your whole life on ain't real. Now check this out. Let me, let me continue on. Y'all with me? Now, oh, let, 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 let's, this picture right here, all right, is a god named Serapis. Now, this god was created in honor of the ruler Ptolemy Soter that we just talked about. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> now check this out. If I ain't mistaken, the image that I see of Serapis, it looked kind of like Jesus. <laughs> I don't know, it might be just me. <laughs> and I understand, you know, and see, this is my whole thing, this is my whole thing. We must understand the psychology behind certain things. Now, if you notice my little date at the bottom, this BC, there was no Jesus. Check out this dude. It looked kind of dumb, dumb. But just check it out. This is in the British and London Museum, y'all. Y'all right can go see this right now. right now as I'm talking to you. How did this image, y'all listening to what I'm saying, right. in 300 BC become this image? Pass me this. I'm just saying, if somebody can answer this for me, somebody got a hotline at TD Jakes, can we talk, please? These are actual artifacts that have been found that is precious to people. And if you don't believe they precious, try to take it from the museum and see what they do to you. Oh. <laughs> now, how do I know that's Serapis? Why she passing that out? Let me talk about Serapis. This is a god that was created in the honor of Ptolemy Soter. Serapis is noticed because he has the cup on his head. That's how you know it's Serapis. This is a Greek god that was created. Serapis' name includes the gods that were created or manifested in Egypt. Osiris was a god and Apis was a god. And what they did was they put the two words together. Am I right, Sadie? Right. They put the two words together. Osiris. And it turned into Serapis. Y'all follow what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
Now these was gods before this guy was created. 